on behalf of our Vicar General, very Reverend Chris D'Souza, who is representing our Bishop, Bishop Fisher, this evening, I extend a very warm welcome to all our distinguished guests who are joining us this evening. Thank you, Father. To Council John Chadid, Lord Mayor of Parramatta, Mr Kevin Connolly, Member for Riverston and a former staff member in the Catholic Education Office, Councillor Jacqueline Don Donaldson representing the Lord Mayor of Blacktown, Mr Dominic Perrottet, MP for Castle Hill, Mr Tony Issa, MP and State Member for Granville, Mr John Robertson, Leader of the Opposition, Shadow Minister for Western Sydney and Member for Blacktown. Mr Philip Ruddick, recently re-elected as the member for Barara. Councillor Michael Zeta, Holroyd Council. Our principals also are welcome, as are members of the Cathy Education Office, our CEO staff. Oh, sorry, David. <laughs> My apologies. Um, uh, you're very welcome as well, David. Um, to all those who are here, you're want it's wonderful for you to be here tonight. And while, as Anthony, our MC, told us, you're here being honoured because of your achievements, I would like to remind you that you are only the tip of the iceberg. You're being here recognised, but in that recognition, we're saying thank you to all the young men and women in our schools, and of course, directly, because we're celebrating your, your achievements, we're saying thank you to our wonderful staff. And of course, without you all, Catholic schools wouldn't exist. And so I want to thank you, our students, for uh, thank you very personally for your ongoing support of the mission of the Catholic Church. Aside from pursuing the highest of educational outcomes for every child, Catholic schools seek to produce not only smarter, but better people. People who not only appreciate the richness of life, but who are eager to make a difference in their communities and have the skill set to do exactly that. We know that the world is rapidly changing and it's been said that schools will have to prepare students for many of the jobs that don't yet exist. While this future seems uncertain and sometimes frightening, we do know that those who will thrive are the ones who are creative problem solvers, who are naturally curious, are independent learners, can work collaboratively and who are never afraid of failure and learning from that failure. I suppose you can thank your parents for being born in an incredible time in history. And you referred to many ways, but usually the digital generation or the millennials. And the change that you can make is not confined to your school or local communities, but globally, thanks to, thanks to emerging technologies. Never before have students from Catholic schools in Western Sydney have been able to share their knowledge, their ideas, their hopes and aspirations with not only locals, not only with the 23 million Australians, but with billions worldwide. What a marvellous opportunity to spread the good news. Each of you, by virtue of your faith, has been called to be an agent of change, to use the God-given talents you have for the common good. The role of your teachers and school leaders is to create environments in which those gifts can flourish. We see education as developing the whole person, the mind, body, spirit, character, and most importantly, your imagination. We're reminded of this in Corinthians chapter 12. Now there are many gifts, but the same spirit, and there are many varieties of service, but the same Lord. And there are a variety of activities, but it is the same God whose activities, all of them in everyone. To each is given the manifestation of the Spirit for the common good. You are being honoured tonight with the Bishop of Parramatta Student Excellence Award because of the outstanding contribution that you have, <coughs> that you have made in your communities, whether as witnesses to your faith, achievements in sport, creative and performing arts, vocational education, encouraging a love of learning, or embracing a whole school spirit. 
These are truly worthy pursuits in our school communities. I would like you, however, to remember that you are not only here this evening as recipients of this illustrious award, but as recipients of a fine Catholic education. And that in itself is a great gift for which you can thank not only your parents, but the school communities who care so much for you. They, along with your teachers and school leaders, not only have faith in you, but have shared their faith with you. I hope that as you make your way in the world, you remember the message that Pope Francis shared with the pilgrims of World Youth Day in Rio. Possessions, money and power can give a momentary thrill, the illusion of being happy, but they end up possessing us and making us always want for more, never satisfied. Put on Christ in your life, place your trust in him, and you will never be disappointed. On behalf of the Bishop of Parramatta, the Vicar General and our distinguished guests, we congratulate you and wish you every success in the future. strong young Catholic woman who leads Nagel College as captain. As an active member of her parish, Nicola participates as altar server, as well as assisting, the par as well as assisting at parish weddings when required. She has also shared her love for Irish dancing at parish celebrations of St. Patrick's Day. For Nicola, the role of college captain is a vocation, underpinned by her Catholic values. She lives out gospel values in her support of younger students. She confidently leads the school in prayer, giving genuine witness to the traditions of Catholicism. Nicola is a role model for other students, demonstrating compassion through a range of social justice initiatives, including blood donations and visiting elderly residents at a nursing home. Nicola humbly lives out the words of Nano Nagel, indeed not word, ensuring that her own Catholic values are also more indeed than just words. Father Chris, I present Nicola Azar. six years at the college, Natasha has been an outstanding student. Natasha has always performed at the highest level and last year was Ducks of Year 11. She has often received the annual award for student of her year. Natasha has shown outstanding leadership of and involvement in the college community, culminating in her appointment as college captain. She gives strong witness to her Christian faith, being involved in many social justice initiatives, particularly those aiding St Vincent de Paul Society. Natasha is very involved in her local parish, Pajo Pio. She takes part in college masses and liturgies and works as a catechist with her local primary students. Natasha is a warm and humble person and is a most worthy recipient of this award. Father Chris, I present Natasha Chandra.
As school captain of St Mark's, Chloe is involved in a wide range of activities within the community and at the college. Chloe teaches religious education to students at Kellyville Ridge Primary School. Within the college, she is involved in student liturgy and in the development of year 12 retreat programs. Chloe is a part of the parish youth group at Blessed John the 23rd and participates in the college choir. She has been involved in the establishing of the St. Vincent de Paul Conference at the college and as well as the introduction of the Vinnie's van. Chloe performs academically well and balances her academic responsibilities with her other activities. She evidences her love of St. Mark's in the development of positive relationships with her teachers and with her fellow students. Father Chris, I present Chloe Jiang. David is an exceptional young man who is very committed to his parish, St. Madeline Sophie at Kenthurst. He is a youth leader in the parish and organizes digital presentations for weekly liturgies. He also provides technical support, plays the guitar at mass each Sunday and has redesigned the parish website. David has had a close and supportive relationship with St. Madeline's Primary in providing technical support and training for younger students. David is president of the Marion College SRC and has organized the college movie team, instigated the college chess club and participated in social justice initiatives. He was part of the college team that won the Campion Challenge in 2012. David's outstanding commitment to his studies has been acknowledged by receiving a Principal's Award on every school report since commencing at Marion. Father Chris, I present David Diekman. Manitou is a selfless member of the Delaney community and a highly motivated student. He is a member of the school leadership team and has been involved with the St Vincent de Paul Society. Manitou is an active advocate for social justice. Manitou has represented Delaney College in mock trial competitions, cross country, volleyball and football. He has received numerous academic awards culminating in his receiving of the coveted Principal's Awards in 2008 and 2011. Manitou espouses the values of a caring Catholic learner and is a deserving recipient of this award. Father Chris, I present Manitou Fatu. John Fitzpatrick is a strong witness to the Catholic faith and lives the gospel values in very practical ways through his treatment and care of others. He has a strong commitment to our Catholic college ethos and principles. John has been actively involved in the College Lasallian Youth Leaders in Junior Reflection Days. He is also very modest in his academic achievement. 
In 2012, he was Dux of Year 11, and in Year 12, he has continued to pursue his academic achievements with both humility and commitment. John has been a dedicated member of several college bands, as well as being involved in the Oak Hill College debating team, and has represented the college in tennis as the team captain for his division over the past six years. Father Chris, I present John Fitzpatrick. Joshua is a leader at the college. He is known as the gentle giant and has a heart of gold. Joshua assists staff, parents and students wherever possible. He addresses others with respect, dresses professionally and is a role model to other students in the way he presents himself and in how he treats others. Joshua represented the college in rugby league as well as community events. Joshua assists in our local parish, Our Lady of Lebanon Co-Cathedral, where he serves his college and parish as an altar server. He consistently achieves his best in his studies. Joshua is a worthy recipient of the Bishop of Parramatta Award for Student Excellence. Father Chris, I present Joshua Frangi. is our current college captain, elected by her peers and college staff. She displays great leadership and initiative in, work, in working with the Student Representative Council and the college as a whole. Mia has assisted at debating, public speaking, and works tirelessly with the Eco Group to improve the college environment. Mia is involved in her local parish as a Minister of the Word. She has undertaken leadership of the Vinnie's Winter Sleepout at the local Catholic primary school and the collection of monies while working for local charities. Mia has excelled in year group drama performances and was the leader of the backstage crew in the college musical. She has achieved outstanding academic results across all her subjects and is dedicated to her studies and further improvement. Father Chris, I present Mia Johnson. Gabriel is a fine example of a young man who is committed to living out the charism of St. Paul. He is an active member of his school community who seeks opportunities to contribute and participate whenever he can. Gabriel has been actively involved as a representative on the college liturgy team, the parish council, and a volunteer in the Reader Writer program. He gives witness to his faith as he actively contributes to his local parish as an altar server. Generously participating regularly in community celebrations whenever he is asked. Gabriel is a young man of fine character 
and is a worthy recipient of this award. Father Chris, I present Gabriel Casey. Patrick Lorente has been a real leader in the school community. He is a student who has always worked hard and his application to his studies is profound. Patrick was the peer elected leader of year 11 and once again led by his actions. He models his daily practice of his faith in his involvement with the younger students. Pat is also a core member of the basketball club and has led many sides to championship victories. He leads by example, letting his actions speak louder than words. Patrick has also been an active member of college debating teams and competed in the school and community public speaking competitions. It is without hesitation that we recommend Pat for the Bishop's Award for Student Excellence. Father Chris, I present Patrick Lorente. During his time at McCarthy College, William has made a powerful impression on both staff and students. He embodies the qualities of integrity, justice, and peace. William is a diligent student. His application to all of his studies and the work ethic that he models to younger students is commendable. As a talented sportsman, William has overcome serious knee injuries in his leadership of the college and PD Triple SC representative sports of athletics and rugby league. William has demonstrated great religious and spiritual leadership, publicly demonstrating his strength of the faith and inspiring others to show theirs. His work in social justice has seen William undertaking a leadership role in organizing college fundraising activities. He has been an altar server at college masses and has mentored and encouraged younger students into this role. William's influence is also evident in his own parish of Our Lady of the Way, where he is an altar server as well as a leader of the local youth group. William is a very worthy recipient of this award and his work will serve as an inspiration to younger students of the college for years to come. Father Chris, I present William Luna Riley. Ina Manalili is the epitome of the student that we would hope to see as a graduate from St Andrews College. She is a true example of faith in action. Ina works as a leader of young Christian students, is a Eucharistic minister and catechist. She assists with the Vinnie's van and is on the Vinnie's executive and has been involved in both peer and community formation. Ina is always one of the first to volunteer and assist in leading these events. She gives freely of herself and is always willing to publicly bear witness to her faith. Despite her dynamic involvement in the faith dimension of the college, Ina does not let this impact on her studies. 
and she demonstrates this with absolute commitment to this endeavour as evidenced by her results thus far. Ina is a living example of our motto, doing more, going beyond. She is a very worthy recipient of this award. Father Chris, I present Ina Manalili. Jennifer is a true example of outstanding Christian leadership. She's a member of Christ the King Parish North Rocks and, as school captain, promotes school spirit through her inclusiveness of all students. Jennifer has a strong commitment to social justice, evolving herself in various initiatives, both within the school and the wider community. As a young woman of mercy, Jennifer promotes the values of mercy hospitality, justice, integrity, courage, and excellence. She is an outstanding role model for the school and the Catholic community. Jennifer is a worthy recipient of the Bishop's Award for 2013. Father Chris, I present Jennifer McCrenna. She is a student who works to the best of her ability and always strives for excellence. She has assisted in the parish mass at Mary Immaculate Quakers Hill, where she has given up her time to support and help organize other students. Another generous attribute of Taylor's caring nature is helping younger students. She has done this through being a peer support leader, being involved in the buddy teaching program, and through her role as an SRC member. She was a valued member of the debating team, at times taking on the role of chairperson. Taylor has been an impressive representative of the school in both her demeanor and her personal presentation. Her generosity with her time is apparent with her active involvement in working bees. Father Chris, I present Taylor Musket. Margaret is an outstanding student respected deeply by her peers and the staff of Loyola Senior High School. She is a member of the school's SRC and has been instrumental in the organization of fundraising events for various charitable causes. She recently took part in the Jesuit school's immersion to Timor-Leste and has returned to school with various ideas and insights into how her fellow students can work with ministries in the developing world. Margaret has a strong connection with Good, Parish, Good Shepherd Parish Church. She is, the, she is a worthy recipient of this award. Father Chris, I present Margaret Nicholas. Nightingale has been a student of St. Patrick's Marist College, Dundas, for the past six years. 
During his time at St. Patrick's, Jonathan has enthusiastically immersed himself in a variety of ways in the life of the college. Jonathan's leadership qualities were recognised in 2012 when he was elected as one of the school captains for the college. His ongoing commitment to social justice issues in the college has been exceptional and he has participated in numerous social justice activities which have helped our students become more aware of the plight of those less fortunate in our local community as well as in a global context. Jonathan is a mature and responsible student who has successfully balanced extracurricular activities with his senior HSC studies. Father Chris, I present J Jonathan Nightingale. Elise is a stellar young woman who has made a significant contribution to our school community as a current school captain as well as over her six years at St Columbus Catholic College. Elise lives her faith through witness to the Gospels. She leads by example in prayer and in good works. She is an excellent ambassador for the school, representing St Columbus on many formal occasions. Elise has provided a welcoming face to the school, to the wider community. She is a person of faith, an outstanding student, fine musician and strong leader. Elise is, worthy, is a worthy recipient of this award. Father Chris, I present Elise Noni. Julian Pecora is the college captain for 2013 at Patrician Brothers College, Blacktown. He has been an exceptional role model and witness to the Catholic faith, representing the college at liturgical events and encouraging students to attend the weekly morning mass held in our school chapel. He is one of the leading academic high achievers in the college and an elite rugby league player. Julian is a source for inspiration for the school community attending and organizing leadership events, welcoming parents and students at school functions, and organizing social gatherings. Julian excels at playing a leading role in motivating students to make the most of all the opportunities the school has to offer, and then giving back by contributing to all facets of school life, religious, cultural, sporting, and academic. Father Chris, I present Julian Prokora. Jodie Rodericks is an outstanding mercy girl. She exemplifies our mercy Christian values in all that she does. She is an academically strong and committed to achieving at the highest level. Jodie has made an excellent contribution to public speaking and debating, representing Australia at the World Debating and Public Speaking Championships in South Africa with her team reaching the final rounds of the CSDA competition. One of her greatest strengths has been the mentoring of younger students in mock mediation. Jodie has a strong commitment to the social justice and she has always operates out of genuine commitment to care for others. She is a worthy recipient of this prestigious award. 
Father Chris, I present you with Jody Rodriguez. Sanjeev received all of his sacraments at Holy Spirit at St. Clair and with his family is an active member of the parish. Sanjeev is a gifted and talented musician, having studied piano and guitar for several years. He contributes to parish life by performing in the band. Sanjeev is a keen and diligent student who is currently ranked first in four of his HSC subjects. Sanjeev has been a member of the college leadership team since 2011 has been a member of the sport and recreation ministry, a house captain, a class captain, and represented the college in numerous sporting teams. He also holds a college gold award and is a mentor to junior students. Sanjeev is an outstanding ambassador for Emmaus Catholic College. Father Chris, I present you with Sanjeev Civic Practice. John demonstrates witness to his faith as an acolyte at Parramatta Morris High School Masses and in his parish church of St. Patrick's Blacktown. He has participated in the Palm Sunday procession and Morris Mass at the Cathedral. John also attended the breakfast with Bishop Anthony and Cardinal Pell event. As a prefect and acting in the captaincy of student leader with pride and school spirit, John is a true man of Morris. He has applied a consci conscientious approach to his senior studies. John has participated in several social justice activities, including Vinnie's Van, Blood Bank, and public speaking. Father Chris, I present John Solivert. Francis has contributed to the college community through his leadership as the current college captain. He has set an outstanding example to the community through his efforts towards promoting the White Ribbon Day, Harmony Day, and representing the college in sporting activities. Francis has been an example to his fellow Year 12 students through his dedication to his studies and participation in the college's HSC acceleration programs. Francis has shown witness to the Catholic faith through his devotional work with the Catechist program and involvement with all aspects of the religious life at the college. Father Chris, I present Francis Tamer. Claudia is a young lady who is totally committed to achieving personal excellence through our passion for learning. She is an articulate, diligent and hardworking student who achieves excellent academic results. Her peers and younger students see Claudia as a role model, leader and outstanding contributor to the school community. 
Claudia bears witness to her Catholic faith in all of her endeavours, always managing to ensure she is aware of the needs of others in the community. A leader of the college's social justice group, Claudia strives to encourage involvement in and empathy for global justice issues. Claudia is an outstanding candidate for the Bishop of Parramatta's Award for Student Excellence. Father Chris, I present Claudia to Will. Alana Vella is captain of Xavier College Landilo and is an exemplary role model to all students. She has involved herself in many aspects of her parish from teaching children's liturgy, reading and being an integral part of liturgical celebrations throughout the year. Alana has been a catechist, teaching scripture at the local primary school and also supports the local primary schools through fundraising initiatives. Alana lives out the values of the college in terms of her dedication to service, her commitment to others, and her passion for social justice. She is a worthy recipient of this award. Father Chris, I present Alana Bella. Isabel is a committed Catholic who exhibits very strong principles and values. She lives this out on a daily basis, not only by, practicing, by the practice of attending daily Mass, but by her words and actions. Isabel confidently speaks out on issues of, of a controversial nature, even if she is going against the current. Isabel is, a kind, and gen is kind and generous and always willing to help those in need sacrificing her own time and changing her plans to do so. She is our school vice captain and has worked tirelessly to instill a spirit of service amongst the girls and works hard to promote initiatives to increase school spirit. Isabel is a talented sportswoman who gives her best in all school competitions. She is an asset to her school and a credit to her family. Father Chris, I present Isabel Wall. Jacinta's vision, goals, values and actions epitomise young Catholic women of today. Her sound relationships with family, friends, church, school and the broader community are based on a genuine concern for the welfare of others. Jacinta has a determination to succeed but is never so committed to her goals that she is unable to assist her peers in a practical, selfless and unassuming way. As a college leader, she inspires confidence and allows others to assist her peers and to achieve their best. Jacinta's solid academic performance is complemented by involvement in numerous sporting teams. Jacinta's actions are always underpinned by her faith and an authentic commitment to social justice. Father Chris, I present Jacinta Young. Thank you. 